Hey everybody, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel, and this is another episode of Personal Views. Today, I'm going to be giving you all an overview of Persona 5 and why I think you should give it a chance. Let's get into it. Persona 5, abbreviated as P5, is the sixth mainline entry in the Persona series. And, like the others in the series, they don't really connect at all plot-wise, so don't let that scare you away from playing. The game was originally announced in 2013 in Japan, but, due to numerous delays, wasn't released in Japan on PS3 and PS4 until September of 2016, and the rest of the world in April of 2017. The game also had an expanded edition released, following the series formula set since Persona 3's FES edition. This expanded version, called Persona 5 Royal, abbreviated as P5R, was released on PS4 in Japan on Halloween of 2019, and the rest of the world at the end of March 2020. Persona 5 is a JRPG, Japanese role-playing game, with elements of a social simulator incorporated into it. You play as the protagonist, who you get to name, but is mostly called by his codename Joker, or referred to as him or this guy throughout the story. Set in modern-day Tokyo, the game starts with Joker being falsely charged with assault. Yeah, this game gets dark real fast leading to him being sent to Tokyo for a year of probation under his new guardian Sojiro. When arriving in Tokyo, Joker realizes he has a weird app on his phone that he can't delete, which will soon become known as the Metaverse Navigator. When trying to get to school on his first day, he meets fellow student Ryuji, and they accidentally enter the cognitive world known as the Metaverse, due to a series of coincidental events involving the Navigator app. Joker then awakens to his persona. Personas themselves are a manifestation of a person's rebellious spirit, and are used to fight enemies in the Metaverse. After conquering the first palace, a world which is created due to a person's disordered desires, and making some new allies with the mysterious cat-like creature named Morgana, and fellow classmate An, they form a group called the Phantom Thieves of Hearts, and swear to change the hearts of all the distorted adults around them. The members of the Phantom Thieves are as follows. We have Joker, the protagonist of the game as stated previously, who barely ever talks, and almost all of his dialogue is chosen by you as the player. There's his first ally Ryuji, codenamed Skull, who is screwed over by the track coach slash gym teacher Kamoshida, the first palace ruler of the game. There's An, who is trapped in a relationship with Kamoshida. Again, this game doesn't pull its punches. The cat-like creature known as Morgana, up-and-coming art student Yusuke, Shujin Student Council President Makoto, shut-in and hacker Futaba, and daughter of a fast food CEO, Haru. The story itself was described by story director Hashino as being about freedom and how the characters gain it, along with wanting it to be thematically approachable to newcomers of the series. The game is based in a lot of picaresque fiction, which depicts how characters live in a corrupt society, and this definitely shows as you fight more and more villains throughout the game. All of the characters' initial personas are also based on picaresque heroes, such as Joker's Persona Arsene, Skull's Persona Captain Kid, and many more examples. Persona 5 uses its art direction in every element of the game, from the flashy battles to the still flashy but quiet UI design of story events. Persona 5 seeks to bleed its style into every side of it, and it helped to create one of the most stylized games I've ever played. I don't really want to go in detail with the music, as there's so much to cover that's been done by people who are way better and actually know about musical elements, but most of the game's music is based in the acid jazz genre, which combines elements from funk, soul, hip-hop, jazz, and disco to create a stunning soundtrack at every turn. Persona 5 Royal, as stated earlier, is Persona 5's expanded edition, which adds new characters and a whole new arc of content. If you're gonna play Persona 5 and don't mind spending some extra cash, go ahead and buy Royal. The amount of new content alone definitely makes it worth its slowly decreasing $60 price tag. Well, I hope all you great viewers enjoyed this video. I really wanted to put this together because, one, Persona 5 was introduced to me via YouTube, and I wanted to see if I could give that experience to other people. Along with the fact that Persona 5 as a concept is very confusing if you're looking at it from further away. When you've played 100 to 120 hours of anything, you start to understand it more and more. So I just wanted to put this video together to give people a chance to see what the series is and why I think you guys should just 
get into it if you think you'll enjoy the concept. Again, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. It would really help me out if you could do that. And I hope you all have a good one. See you next time.